Okay, you're looking at Apple. We're anchoring from this low back in January of 2019. And we're using a scale, if you will, of one point per week. What that means is that this red line rises at a rate of one point per week. And all other GAN lines are derivatives of that one by one. So one by two would be rising at a rate of half a point per week. The two by one would be rising two points per week. So it's fairly straightforward. Now what's interesting, I want to call your attention to the fact that we found resistance at this level, a high, just 44 weeks up from low, or close enough to 45. 45 is a GAN cycle. So that gave you the pullback. Then you rallied back, and you didn't quite get back to the one by one. So a loss of momentum. If this were still moving up at the same rate, then you would have tested this line before selling off. You didn't quite make it. You did 46 weeks plus 44. That's 90 weeks up from high, uh, up from low. And thereafter, you know, you're, you're looking at it and saying, hey, if the 45-week cycle worked on the way up, you know, all, roughly 45 weeks, another 45, then you count down 45 weeks to get the lower high. So this is why Gann said that time is more important than price. If you know when a lower high is likely to come in because it worked here and it worked here, it's probably going to work here. And once it breaks the GAN line price, you've got confirmation that you're going down. So time and price. The cycles give you uh, an expected date for the lower high. The break below the GAN line confirms that you're going down hard. There's a lot of other charts I can show you, but... This is just a quick and dirty explanation of what the GAN charts are saying. You know, um, the 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, all these lines will be uh, relevant as we go down. And we'll look at other tools, the square of 9, we'll look at other cycles. We, will, we won't just rely on one chart. We'll look at a whole range of GAN charts. Now, I may have over 100 charts on Apple, and if you're interested in Apple, let's say you've owned it for 20 years, you might want to see what the GAN charts are saying. Because the trick here is to get out of harm's way before you lose a pile of money. You've already lost a bunch of money in the last few weeks if you hold Apple. But then maybe you bought it way down here and you're saying, no, I'm going to ride it out. I'm going to tough it out. I'm going to do the Warren Buffett thing. I, you know, Warren Buffett has 42% of his portfolio invested in one stock. Guess what that stock is? Now, he may be considered the smartest fund manager to have ever lived. But W.D. Gann might have an argument with him. When Warren Buffett tells you that don't try to time the market, W.D. Gann says, time the market, you fool. Because if you don't get out of harm's way, you don't really know just how bad this waterfall decline is going to be. Now, if you bought way back here at 35, you're saying, well, I'm in it for the long term. Well, how old are you? You know, Warren is over 90 years old. Is he going to be around for the recovery? How old are you? Are you nearing retirement? Are you going to be around for the recovery? You have to ask yourself these questions. Time is more important than price. Gan, believe that. You should believe it too. You have to time the market. If you don't time the market, you will get timed out by the market and you'll wind up selling at the low because you'll be in a total panic. Time is critical. You have to time the market. It doesn't mean you're going to get it right every time. Sometimes you get it wrong, but you still have to try. If you don't time the market, then um, go ahead. Buy Berkshire Hathaway. 
40, 42% is invested in one stock. Does that look balanced to you? I don't know. There's, he, you know, the, the point is you can't criticize the emperor, even if he's wearing no clothes, because he's the emperor. Well, Gan would say, instead of trusting the wise old man, the Oracle of Omaha, maybe you should actually look at the science of time and price. Maybe you should look at the fact that this one by two line gave way. It's telling you something right after a 45 week cycle gave you a lower high time and price. That's science. It's not opinion. You're not arguing with Jim Smith. You're not arguing with some other GAN analyst. You're arguing with W.D. GAN. You know, you're arguing with science, with geometry. People who argue against science usually don't come out ahead. I'm telling you, you may have made tons of money on the way up. Now you're going to give it all back and then some. Because you don't believe in science. You don't believe in geometry. This is going to be a rude lesson for a lot of people who trust fundamental analysts over the chart. The chart is based on science. And a lot of fundamental analysts base their views on opinions. They trust what they hear from the oracle. They trust what they hear from the wise people in the market. They don't do any thinking on their own part. I'm saying the one by one, you can't argue with it. The one by two, you can't argue with it because it's based on geometry of time and price. Now, science is useful. Opinion, not so much.